chicken with a combine currently. Welcome to Red, White, and Bethune. We are Jen, Kyle, Ben, Molly, Eli, and we travel with our four dogs in our 1983 Silver Eagle bus. Come along as we show you America through our lens. Last episode on Red, White, and Bethune, Blue Betty got a -a scrub-a-dub-dub, Kyle made some amazing chorizo soup, I finished up my tattoo, we took the dog to the dog park, and brought you on a typical Sunday. Kevin got a fly trap stuck on him, we tidied up the bus, and Kyle made some delicious dinner. Let's see what's going on this episode. Good morning. I hope that you're doing well and wonderful wherever you are watching this from. We get a lazy start every morning. I'm not going to lie to you. That's just, that's our life because it's who we are. So we got to walk dogs. Um, Kyle's actually going to treat the boys to pizza ranch today. They're going to have a daddy and boys day. Me and Molly had a mommy and Molly day yesterday. Cue the selfie right here where we had a blast. Went to Starbucks, went shopping, got my hair cut, all the things. Mm. Oh, the boys were upset because they didn't get a day with dad. That's what they picked to do and I'm not going to turn down a pizza buffet. Then we have Taco Tuesday with our, some full-time, some full-time friends. You get the dog's walked because they would appreciate that they gotta go pie all right so molly and jen got a mommy molly day yesterday so me and ben oh crap i hope i don't fall on my foot we're going to go to pizza ranch eat some pizza and play in the arcade for a little bit so that's what we're going to do today yay i have a ton of editing to get to so I'll be here working while they get to go out and have a great day. Let's go. All right, so there's nothing left. <laughs> Ben's already heading in the arcade over that way, so I'll see what, let's go see what he's got going on. You went in? Some of them are, some of them are loading, but... Some are working, yeah. Some of the games, for some reason, aren't working. Yeah, I can do it. It's still too hard. Ben, that's not right, man. Huh? So I'm going to hang out with him a little bit, play some video games. like this automated uh, prize thing. You pick out what you want, it's like a vending machine, and you get it. We have 856 points. So what are you gonna get? I mean, you could get some slime. <laughs> Suicide Squad thing. Sour Patch Kids. How are you? I hope you are doing very well. We have our last day here. Today's our last day at Heart Ranch, and we're headed up to the beet harvest. So we're like cleaning stuff. We haven't done a whole lot since we've been here. We've kind of just been chilling. The kids made some great friends. Our friends chasing the caches. They're not on YouTube, but I will link their Instagram. She brought me flowers yesterday. Yesterday was the anniversary of losing our son, Ethan, in the car accident. And so we didn't really record anything yesterday. We um, just, we kind of wanted to be by ourselves, alone, not recording anything. I apologize that we didn't bring you along yesterday with us, but it was a day that we just like to share in as a family and just be with each other. Anywho, I just got back from Walmart. So we're Kyle's making breakfast for dinner tonight. So that's cool. And I think I'm going to kick the kids out to go play so I can get the bus tidied. All the things, you know, because that's what I do. I spend my life cleaning a bus. So Garrett, while he's gone, he let us use his adorable Jeep. And Kevin does not look very thrilled to be oh, in the Jeep geez. right now. Kevin, are you sure you want to do this? All right. Have fun. Or Kevin. I don't think he's a fan. I don't think he thinks he's a fan either. He's like, I don't, but he'll go wherever Kyle tells him to go. He just follows him blindly, like the good doodle that he is. Have fun! What happened? Oh, he looks terrified. You made him go on a big, scary Jeep ride, huh? It's been a blast at Heart Ranch, and I cannot believe that tomorrow 
we leave. We got about three days of travel ahead of us heading up to northern North Dakota. But yeah, this past couple of weeks has flown by pretty good. Isn't it like 12 miles from the Canadian border or something? Mm, pretty close. Yeah. We're right by the Canadian border. We've really, the past two weeks have been kind of a blur. We have chilled, like literally chilled. We've worked but it, a lot too though. Yeah, we've worked a lot, got some videos edited, but we didn't go do anything that we said we were going to do. I think our bodies just, they needed to slow down because we've been traveling so fast. It's been a busy summer. It was nice to chill out a little bit. Yeah, we had fun with Garrett. Um, we'll say goodbye to him in the morning. It's going to be really sad. Uh, but, you know, it's just time to move on down the road. I'll pull up anchor and head on out, but we'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Good night. Good, night. <sighs> Good morning. It's leave day. We're leaving. We love Heart Ranch so much. We've had a ton of fun here. But now it's time to go and pack up. We've got a couple friends to say goodbye to. Just kind of, it's sad because we love this place a lot and it's hard to leave. But we gotta get on down the road as we always do. So let's go get all this crap cleaned up and get you in the driver's seat with Kyle. All right, guys, we got a travel day. It feels like I haven't drove the bus in forever. It's been about two weeks, so everything's packed up. Jen's setting up a shot. Let me hop in the seat and I'll pick you guys up. All right, guys, we are pulling out. We are headed to Love's Travel Center right In 1.7 miles, turn left onto SD79. To get some of this high dollar premium South Dakota diesel. I believe it's $3.49 a gallon, so it has come down a, a shade. Still way too freaking expensive. But anyway, we're headed to the beet harvest. We've got about three days to get there. Uh, we're about 600 miles. Uh, we'll knock a pretty good chunk out of that today, hopefully. We'll try to make it all the way to Bismarck. There's a Costco in Bismarck, and I believe it's one of only one or two in, in the whole state of North Dakota. We gotta get some dog food, stock up on a couple things. Then tomorrow we'll probably head over to the Fargo area. So got a little bit of driving to do the next couple days. So hopefully everything will run smoothly and uh, we'll be able to get there on time. Well, we're in the bus because we are waiting in line to get fuel. That is our life. Um, we're in the, Kyle wants to get fuel now because we don't know what we're gonna run into down the road, if there's gonna be a gas station. He doesn't want to run out of gas. So that's what we're doing. He's gonna take you, or I guess I'll take you outside and film his gas escapade, or diesel escapade, let me not say gas. I get in trouble for saying gas. Anywho, let's go outside. All right, got the diesel. He put 200 in, or paid for 200. He'll probably take it all, so it's 289 and freaking gallon. Pulling out of the loves, got me another truck stop burrito to power me through the day. It was $3.89 a gallon. It was supposed to be $3.49 a gallon, but apparently it wasn't accurate on Gas Buddy. Which that's my fault, I guess. But anyway, I'm gonna hop back on I-90 for just a minute, then we're gonna get off and head north. So at the stop sign, let's do turn it. right onto Liberty Boulevard. Alright, so we're rolling into Faith, South Dakota. Well, I thought Wyoming was desolate and nothing. I think South Dakota gives her a run for her money. Like, oh my God. We've driven about 100 miles and I haven't seen much of anything. Holy smokes. Which is nice. I mean, there's no traffic. And, you know, there's the other, the other end of that spectrum is tons of traffic, tons of stoplights. So I'm not complaining. It's just really wild. I mean, there's nothing. This is really the first town I've came to in about 100 miles. So pretty crazy. Anyway. Still got a good ways to go, uh, about 175 miles or so. So we got a good little hike still. Probably stopping here pretty shortly. Stretch my legs, make me some more water. But um, yeah, nonetheless, it's been a good drive so far. It's nice and sunny, so I know we're getting good solar. So we got a good little hike to go. We got to go to Costco. I may just go ahead and drive straight to Costco in Bismarck. I got to pick up a couple things and then just pull over to Walmart. That way I don't have to unhook the Jeep probably what I'm gonna do. I believe we actually jump back into 
Central Time Zone today. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I know we got to be getting close. We'll be in North Dakota here probably about next hour, 45 minutes to an hour. So. I'll probably pop up with you guys when we get to North Dakota. I so. We are finally in North, well, almost in North Dakota. I'm actually poor. <laughs> I'm tired. I need to take a leak. It seems like a good spot as any. Did you just tell the camera that you gotta take a leak? Yes, I did. Welcome to North Dakota. North Dakota? That's our only state sign we can we stop by. Alright, so we finally got to uh, little, 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 North Dakota. I don't think we've ever stopped for a state sign, but I was exhausted and needed some water and some coffee, so I pulled over. So I think this is the first state sign we've ever stopped at in, out of all the states we've been through. So. Out of all the states, we picked North Dakota to make it be the state sign that we stopped at. Hey, all that. I don't know with some ND. But we have about a little, I don't know, hour and 30 minutes or so left to the Costco. And then we'll be done for the night. So we'll hop back on the highway. Where am I supposed to go? I don't mind getting over. Uh, I'm playing chicken with a combine currently. I would gladly move over for him, but I don't have anywhere to move over to. Maybe he does. Yeah, he's pulling off. I bet he doesn't see a lot of buses on this road. He's probably the only game in town for the most part, but... There's a town here? Oh, he smokes a big old boy there. Anyway, we're going to try to make it a Costco. They close at 6 o'clock. I have my doubts that we're going to make it. Um, yeah, I don't know why they close at 6 o'clock. Maybe they just do things a little different up here in North Dakota. I think back home they close at like 7 or 8. I think, I could be wrong. It's kind of beautiful here though. I mean, there's literally nothing here, but there's a bunch of these little... Uh, I don't know if they're buttes or if they're just hills. I'm not really sure what they are. But it's pretty nice. If I can't make it to Costco today, we'll have to... I don't know if, there, if there's one in Fargo. I might could just forego Costco in Bismarck and just try to hit it tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know if there's a Costco in Fargo. Though. We'll have to look that up. Anyway, pick you guys up in a bit. We have landed. You want to see where we landed? You want to see? Oh, the door's locked. Shoot. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. We are... This week, we are featuring Summer Moon Utah Wells. She has been missing since June 15th, 2021. She was last seen in Rogersville, Tennessee, which is located in Hawkins County. You can visit findsummerwells.com for more information. She was five years old. She was female. She had short blonde hair. Eyes were blue. Height, three feet. And weight, 40 pounds. They're also seeking a potential witness driving a red or maroon 1998 to 2000 Toyota Tacoma with white buckets in the truck bed. There is a reward offered. And please call 1-800-TBI-FIND. Again, that's 1-800-TBI-FIND with any information that you may have. We can work together to bring Summer home.